Hi students, welcome to the session on physics in relation to technology and society. I am Sheikh Majitra. In this class, we see what is technology, how physics is related to technology, how physics is related to society. Right? So, first we must know what is technology. We are learning concepts from different different subjects and gaining knowledge. We learn from physics, chemistry, mathematics or biology. Merely having the knowledge is not useful. We have to apply the knowledge to develop some new products or to solve the problems of society. Then only the knowledge we gathered is useful. Application of knowledge is known as technology. Right? We learn some concepts from physics. We are going to apply that concept and develop some new products or to solve the by using the concept we solve some of the problems faced by the society. Then it is known as technology. Simply, technology is the application of science. Because I told we gather knowledge through physics, chemistry, biology or mathematics. Those are all falling under the category of science. So, we apply the concepts, develop the product, solve the problems of society. This is known as technology. Right? We see how the concepts of physics is used to solve the problems or used to invent new products. We all know that before 300 years, if you wanted to communicate somebody, what we have to do, we have to send one person to convey the information. It took so much of days and moreover it was a complex exercise, right? But once Graham Bell invented a telephone, the communication was completely revolutionized, right? But we had one problem, suppose it is a fixed phone. We were, if suppose we went outside, at that time if somebody called, we were not able to pick it up and we missed the information. Now that problem also solved by the invention of mobile phone. Now we are able to call anybody from anywhere at any time, right? This communication revolution was possible because of the application of concepts in physics known as electricity and magnetism, right? Those two concepts were applied to develop these products. Now you know what is the use of these two products, how it solved a lot of our problems, right? That is one thing. So these technologies, yes or no, application of concepts, right? So these technologies solved a lot of our problems. Next we see, suppose before uh, 100 years, what people have done if they wanted to see Olympic Games or some places, Right? They have to go there and feel it. They have to be in person. Now, we are able to see Olympics or World Cups in our bedroom, right? Even in our hand, via TV and the mobile phone. This is all possible due to the revolution of satellite communication technology. Even before 30 years, we had a TV, but we had only one channel, right? Now we are having n number of channels and we don't know which channel to see. The options are so huge. These are all possible because of the revolution of satellite communication that was also developed by the application of concepts in physics known as electricity and magnetism. Clear or not? Next, you take medical field. Before 40-50 years, lot of diseases were incurable. Right? We can we uh, doctors were unable to study in depth about uh, brain or cardiology disease, right? Now, because of the development of laser technology or X-ray technology or scanning methods, we are able to cure mostly every disease. Clear? So this is these are all the applications of physics only, right? So. In that way, the technology which was developed by the concepts of physics is useful to people. Now we see how physics is related to different different subjects. Let us see how physics is related to chemistry. In physics, we study about uh, atomic structure, radioactivity, X-ray diffraction, etc. Right? Chemist, chemistry people used these concepts and they found the atomic number and arranged the element as per the atomic number, thus periodic table was developed. 
clear and also we know the use of periodic table very well and also because of the development of these technology they were able to study the valence band and valence and other bonding very clearly right even in chemistry we have one subject known as physical chemistry one branch of chemistry is known as physical chemistry that much impact physics has on chemistry now we see how physics is related to mathematics see physics is conceptual based science right if you want to extend that or to develop further right we need or to explain physics we need mathematics mathematics is a tool which elaborates so complex concepts of physics with simple way clear so mathematics and physics go hand in hand without one other cannot survive that much relation they have right next how physics is related to biology see biological studies were developed very slowly but after the invention of uh, what do you call microscope it has gathered momentum right once they, after the microscope was invented scientists were able to see and study the study and analyze the structure of cell right even the, right they were able to study the nucleic acid by using x ray diffraction right this were possible because of the application of physics in technology right also we know that uh, earlier lot of disease were incurable right now even the big fracture can be cured right because of the development in x ray and we can diagnose where is the fracture minute fracture also we are able to diagnose right the development of ct scan mri scan we can get even thousands of slices of our brain by using mri scan right those things we know very well and radio radio therapy was used is used to cure even cancer right we are able to cure cancer it is this advancement is possible because of the physics in technology right next how physics is relation to astronomy astronomy was oldest science right but it has it is a, it was also a slowly developed technology but once a telescope was invented astronomers were able to study the motion of planets and other celestial bodies right they were able to calculate the distance between the different planets and the earth those things were made possible because of the uh, what do you call the invention of telescope moreover radio telescope were enable astronomers to observe the distance point right we were able to find far away object from our earth itself these are all possible because of the physics in astronomy next how physics in relation to geology right so the concepts of uh, diffraction is used in uh, geology geologists to study the crystal structure of the rocks and we are able to predict earthquake also we can study the impact of earthquake those things were made possible because of the physics and also we are able to calculate uh, suppose if we excavate some objects from any area we can find uh, how old that object was right nowadays we regularly hear news in tv about keelady excavation they were excavating object but then they they say that it is 2000 years old 3000 years old how is it possible the concept called carbon dating is applied in that it is nothing but a physics concept right so that is very very important and we can find the age of fossil fuels right rocks right we say that this uh, tree is that much old those things are possible because of the carbon dating only right physics is in relation to oceanography see oceanography is nothing but study of ocean physics and chemistry are used together to study ocean very well right they what they are study study about uh, nature of the current uh, temperature uh, and uh, salinity of water right and uh, different different components in the sea those things were studied by using the concept of and they still they are doing so many research by using the concepts of physics and chemistry together right so i can say so many application like this you have to you, you just see net and you can get still lot of applications right so physics has such a wide scope right
That's all about this session. If you are having any doubt, please ask me in comment section. I will clarify all your doubts. Right? Thank you.